welcome back. We're going to do Sunday's Grace Link Primary Lesson Activities with you now. And the first thing we're going to do is look up in our Bibles, John chapter 21, verses 1 to 14. Nearly there, just where you were before. Back two pages, there we go. Afterward, Jesus appeared again to his disciples by the Sea of Tiberias. It happened this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples were together. I'm going out to fish, Simon Peter told them, and they said, we'll go with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples did not realise that it was Jesus. He called out to them, Friends, haven't you got any fish? No, they answered. He said, Throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to haul the net in because of the large number of fish. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. As soon as Simon Peter heard him say, It is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him, for he had taken it off, and jumped into the water. The other disciples followed in the boat, towing the net full of fish, for they were not far from the shore, about a hundred yards. When they landed, they saw a fire of burning coals there with fish on it and some bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you have just caught. Simon Peter climbed aboard and dragged the net ashore. It was full of large fish, 153. But even with so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. None of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came, took the bread, and gave it to them, and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time Jesus appeared to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. How did Jesus take care of his sheep in that story? Well, he took care of them by feeding them. That's right. Jesus took care of a lot of his own sheep while feeding them, by feeding them while he was on this earth, didn't he? We remember the story of the loaves and fishes. He did that twice. And he was taking care of his sheep by healing them and doing a lot of things. Well, um, Jesus told Peter in the story to feed his sheep. Do you think Jesus was talking about food? No, no. What do you think he meant? He meant... I think he meant that he was teaching them... That's the right, he wanted Peter Bible. to teach them the Bible. That's right. Okay, so feeding the sheep. You know, we're Jesus' sheep and he is our shepherd, isn't he? And so he wants us, his disciples, to teach others about him. Okay, and now we're going to go to John chapter 6. Chapter 6. And verse 35. Okay, then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. So if we are feeding the sheep and Jesus is the bread of life, what does that mean? We will never go hungry. We will never go hungry. That's right, if we have Jesus, but he means to show others the bread of life, so that they will not be hungry either and so that they will be fed. We're to teach others about Jesus. Well, thank you for joining us today, children, for Sunday's Grace Link lesson activities, and we'll see you again tomorrow.
Bye.